gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you my duet partner, Valitsa Giergiova. A warm round of applause. <laughs> On the program today, sort of in the spirit of Valentine's Day, if you will, we'll start with dances and we'll end with dances. And in the middle, there will be more dances. So it should be all fun. Some is slow, some is fast, but it should be mostly fun music. We'll start with George Gershwin. Um, he wrote three preludes that are super famous. Actually, the set was supposed to be 24 preludes, but he never got to writing all 24. It was supposed to be melting pot representation of New York City, where he lived in Tin Pan Alley and created those three prelude tunes that were probably inspired by the music that was simply in the air because a lot of musicians lived there from all corners of the world, be it Jamaica or far-flung places and made music in Manhattan. Gershwin premiered those preludes himself in 1926 to great acclaim and now they have been arranged for every single ensemble in the world, including piano duet, which is what we'll be doing for you today. Enjoy three preludes by George Gershwin.
going to change composers now. We're moving to Astor Piazzolla, who lived from 1921 till 1992. Argentinian composer, and he wrote mostly for the bandolion, which is a square shape arc accordion, basically. His Liber Tango puts the word libertad, which is liberty, and tango into one word. And that was one of the missions of Piazzolla, to be a little bit socio-critical with his tango. We will play two tangos for you. A fast one, Liber Tango, and a slow one, Oblivion. And in both of them, you can hear how that bandolion would have worked. I hope you can hear that in our duet performance. Enjoy those two tunes.
next on the program, also by Astor Piazzolla, is a piece that is called Café. And it's almost a little bit like film music. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the, the place of a café. In many southern countries, Spain, Italy, South America, a cafe is so much more than just a Starbucks to get a cup of joe. It is a place to see, it is a place to be seen, it's a place to smoke, yes. To stay up late, they are open often past midnight. Sit outside, let people walk by, just run into people, and of course also, to meet somebody, and I think that is what this story is all about. So imagine these two people sitting in the cafe, each of them has their coffee and stirs their coffee, and then pretty soon eyes start to catch and things start to develop. So here is Astor Piazzolla's cafe.
last piece on the program in this beautiful lunchtime museum concert hour is going to be Kachatorian's Sabre Dance, which is a segment of a ballet. And I sure hope we don't do damage to the piano, but I think those puppies are built pretty well. <laughs> 